the row distance like is one then another column you have to write straight distance this one this is the straight distance okay when we see when we observe that table you can realize that for an example we can take gold to candy the row distance 225 kilometers but the straight distance 200 kilometers so here always the straight distance is less than road distance straight distance is less than road distance understood you can do this in your home okay try to do this and you can realize the straight distance is less than the road distance okay think about this one this is a building and this is the ground floor of the building and this is the first floor. To go to the first floor from the ground floor we can use a staircase and also we can use an escalator. So here you can clearly see when we are using staircase. The distance when we are using staircase is longer than the escalator. The escalator, this is the distance. So, this distance is shorter than when we are using staircase. So, this is shorter distance. And here, escalator is moving as straight path. This is straight path. Your position is changed according to the time. In the first time, you are here in the ground floor. And we can use escalator or staircase to go to the first floor. Then you are going to first floor. Your position is changed. And we can talk about the previous practical. These are the two cities. And here, from one city to another city, your position is changed. So, this incident we are calling as motion. Motion means the change of position according to the time. The change of position with time. Here, your position is changed from ground floor to first floor. It is taken time. Here also your position is changed from one city to another city. It, it will take time. So the position change with the time. This is called the motion. Okay. Then let's talk about distance and displacement. What is distance? Distance means Total length of the path of a motion. Total length. Think these are the positions. Position A and position B. So this is the path. So total length of the path. Total length. This is the total length of the path. And displacement. What is the displacement? Linear length between the starting and ending position. Here, this is the starting position A. And this is the ending position. So, here to here. Here to here. This is starting position and this is ending position. The linear length. Linear length means not this one. This is the part. Total length. This is the linear length. This is the linear length. So th that is displacement. This is the displacement that means linear length and this is distance. Total length of the part. So, you can remember the previous practical activity 16.1. The length of the road. Think these are the two cities. 
the length of the rod between two cities the length of the rod between two cities that is called as distance and straight straight length between two cities that is displacement so distance and displacement understood we are talking about distance and displacement okay consider about the running events of your school sport meet uh, 100 meters and 400 meters both are the short distance running events the short distance races both are the short distance races this is 100 meter track and this is 400 meters track. You know these tracks. So both are the short distance races. But there are some differences between these races. What are the differences? Now look at the table 16.2. This one. 16.2. Now let's discuss about the differences. Direction of motion. Direction of motion. In 100 meters, direction does not change. So, this is the starting point and this is finishing point. So, this is the direction here to here. This is one direction. Direction does not change. But in 400 meters, direction changes from time to time. So, this is the starting point and ending point also this point. So, we can start from here and Go around the ground. So, uh, the direction is changing time to time. So, here to here, direction is changing. Okay, now, total length of the path. Total length. This is the 100 meters track. So, total length is 100 meters. Or in 400 track, this is one. This is So, this is the length. It is 400. It is okay. Then linear length between the points of start and end. Then we have to find out the linear length. Straight length. So in 100 meters track, this is the linear length. It is same. It is 100 meters. This is linear length. This is starting point and this is finishing point. This is straight length. 100 meters. So, in 400 meters track, this is the starting point and ending point also this point. So, what about the linear length? The linear length is 0 meters. So, here we can tell in 100 meters track, distance is 100 meters. When we are doing the event, uh, distance is 100 meters. Displacement also. Distance is 100 meters and displacement also 100 meters. Okay. Distance, displacement, the straight length. Then in 400 meters track, distance is 400 meters here. But displacement. This is the starting point and this is the ending point. Zero. We have to measure the straight length. That is no straight length. That is zero meters. Okay. Now you can understand what is distance and what is displacement. So here you are given a small problem. This is the problem. Here you have to find out the distance and Displacement to A to B. Here this is a root. Root of a motion of an object from A to B. This is the root. Root of a motion. Here in this root you have to find out what is the distance. A to B what is the distance. So this is the root. You can see this is the root. The direction is changing. Time to time direction is Changing in this motion A to B. So what is the distance? It is 120. They have mentioned the distance. So we can write what is the distance? 120 meters. So 
uh, when we are writing the distance and displacement, we can write what are the units. We can use uh, meters, millimeters, centimeters, kilometers. We can use those units. But what is the international unit? International unit is meters. Okay. Then what is the displacement? So displacement means straight length. Otherwise, linear length between A to B points. A to B, this is the linear length. It is, they have mentioned that one. 40 meters. So, we can write 40 meters. Then, when we are writing the displacement, we have to write the direction. To which direction? A to B, what is the direction? So, they have mentioned the north. This is north. Then, what is this direction? So, we can find. This is the direction. North, northeast, east, southeast, south, southwest, west, northwest. So, what is this direction? This one. South, east. So, we can write 40 meters towards. When we are writing the displacement, we have to write 40 meters, the word towards, towards southeast. Okay, this is the distance and this is the displacement, 40 meters towards southeast. You have to write the direction when you are writing displacement. Now it is clear. Okay. Now you can do the self-assessment. That is a self-assessment one. You can do at home. It is easy. There are two questions. You have to find out what is the distance and displacement. Okay. Another video we can discuss about force. Goodbye.